In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and configure Windows 9X components. This also works with Windows 95, Windows NT 4.0, Windows 98, and Windows ME. And what our components are is like things as such as wallpapers, desktop themes, mouse pointers, games, screensavers, etc. But if you had installed Windows for the first time, using the, it'll install the default components. But you can actually install other components later on if you're familiar with the operating system. As you see, I got a Windows 95 virtual machine. And yes, this is Windows 95 with the Windows desktop update. So we're running Windows 95B at the moment. And uh we're gonna go over to start, go to settings, and go to control panel, or you can go to my computer and get the control panel. You want to go right over to add remove programs. Click the Windows Setup tab. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of what, which, compo which each component is. Accessibility options, which will give you like the larger mouse pointers and the black and inverted mouse pointers. So you want to go ahead and install everything in accessibility options if you like that. If you see a gray if you see a checkbox that's like shaded and grayed as, that means that all the component, only some components have been installed. If you see a checkbox that's fully white, that means everything's installed. So we're gonna go right over to details, and we're gonna select all the components that you that that we're gonna install. So for instance, we're gonna install clipboard viewer. You can even add and remove other components that you don't need. Because in accessories, you get the desktop wallpapers and document templates. And you can even select what games that do you want. And you can get the regular mouse pointers, which will give you but 3D pointers, cursor scheme, and in, in the mouse properties. And I even went ahead and installed screen savers. But here's a method that works. If you uncheck that and you place another check, it's going to install everything. But if you want to install certain screen savers, you just go over to details and it's show you what screensavers that you do you want to install but I like to have them all installed that's just me if you have Windows 98 they'll give you an option for Outlook Express and desktop themes and desktop themes on Windows 95 you gotta install plus for Windows 95 but if you want desktop themes in Windows 98 and Windows ME, you should have an option. Communications will give you stuff for dial-up and other networking cap. And you got your disk tools, which will give you backup. I don't really care because this is a virtual machine. But if you want to use different languages with certain fonts, you need to go ahead and install multi-language support. This will have all the additional fonts that you need to view like certain files. And you got multimedia, which where you can be able to get all the sound schemes and system sounds and MIDI files. 
and the sound schemes will give you like all the error sounds and the sound schemes like Musica, Robots, Utopia, and Jungle as well as the sample sounds which will give you the MIDI files in the C Windows Media folder but only some components installed but I ain't gonna install a lot of them but I don't really care like I said it's a virtual machine but before you hit the apply or OK make sure you have your Windows disk inserted if you're doing this with Windows 95 and T4.0, 98, 98 second edition in Windows ME but if you have if you're doing it with any 9x operating system if you got the system files copied over to the hard drive make sure it, it's going to ask you where to locate the cab files on this one I have it pointed to the CWin95 directory or you can do C Windows Option Cabs if you have the cab files copied over in that directory. So I'm going to click Apply. You want to go ahead and restart the computer or virtual machine while we're at it. So everything can take effect. So we're booted back up in the Windows and your install components should be there. But if you forgot to install one, you can always go back and double check. So that's all for now. I hope this video helped some of you guys out. I got more videos that coming on along the way and showing off this some stuff on this Windows 95 virtual machine and hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching.